Hi, beautiful ones. It's Becky. I made it. I missed yesterday because the time I was going to do my live video, something else ended up getting put in its place. And then today, here I am at the end of the day, and I almost didn't think I was going to get to do it because we didn't have any internet connection today. But I am here. Yay! And I feel better just because I made this commitment. It felt a little eh yesterday that I didn't get to, but back up, pick myself up, and here I am again. So, yay! Happy um, Friday. Happy Friday to you. Um, what I was thinking about was sort of a strange story that I wanted to share with you. And uh, it goes back to the days of high school. And uh, so my sophomore year, I was on the freshman sophomore basketball team. And since we were not JV or varsity, we were sort of the low end of the totem pole of the sports hierarchy. And so we would have our basketball practices at the very early hour of 5 a.m. So here we are, a bunch of uh, a bunch of freshmen and sophomores showing up at the gym in the dark at 5 a.m. And um, but the thing about basketball, we had a lot of fun. It was a great, great group of girls that I worked with, and uh, I was really good in practice. I was like, I could do it. I could make baskets. I could do what I needed to do in practice. But when it came to the games, I don't know what happened. Anytime I would try to make a basket, the ball would go in the rim, circle around, and come out. Sometimes it even seemed like it would go halfway in the net and then go back out. And every game, after the end in the locker room we would do our stats of who scored what and, and all of that and we would get to mine and the number would be zero and this went on for almost the entire season hi Kim so it, I realized without really realizing it but I realized back then that how I dealt with that was still going to make the difference of whether I was still enjoying myself or whether I felt bad about myself. So it sort of became this game with my what, what I would do, and then the rest of my teammates would do it with me. But when it did come to the point to say how many points I scored, we would all go zero, and we'd just have fun with it and laugh about it. And I did not feel bad. And none of my teammates made me feel bad that I wasn't making the points. And I, you know, which that's kind of one of the goals of the game is to make points so your team could win. So there, we just kept doing this. And it came to the point one day where I made a basket. And it was one of these moments, my entire team stopped it was just some time random moment in the middle of the game my entire team stopped and ran over to me it was like every classic sports movie where the person makes the winning shot for the championship game and they win and everybody's proud like all of my teammates and my coach they jumped off the bench they stopped what they were doing and we ran around and we cheered and we hooped and we hollered and i felt like in some ways i was being lifted up on the shoulders and the other the opposing team was there going like what is going on? They just completely interrupted the game for a random shot. <laughs> but I have no more memories of my basketball experience after that memory because it felt so good to have my team rally around me. And it's like everything else just has fallen away out of my, my memory bank. But I was thinking about this today and I realized that it was really about my attitude and my ability to laugh with it that made it okay, that made it fun. I didn't feel bad. I didn't feel like a failure. Yes, I wanted to score baskets and points, but it was okay because I had the loving support of my teammates. I had their encouragement, and I was able to laugh with myself. I was able to laugh at the circumstances. I was able to have fun every day rather at the end when we do the stats rather than feeling like, 
oh great I did nothing so and I was okay with it and that moment like I said when my team rallied around me it just was awesome so I get to feel like I was a superstar winner even though in reality I really sucked at basketball <laughs> I'm grateful that I got the chance to play but it was a great memory even though we had 5 a.m. practices it was beautiful to see the early morning sun reflecting or, or seeing the mountains and especially this was during winter time so we'd see the snow on the mountains in the distance and so we'd finish come out of the gym get ready to go to the locker room and I'd make everybody stop and take in the beautiful mountains and I just loved and appreciated that part of myself and I guess I kind of also want to say that it's okay to like yourself it's okay to like aspects of yourself it's okay to feel good about yourself even when you're not doing things that may be seemed outwardly like they're doing that they're good like to be able to feel good about yourself proud of yourself um, be encouraged by yourself these are all like awesome things to still do and sometimes it feels uncomfortable because we're kind of taught sometimes that you know we're supposed to be humble or all of these other things but I say like own your magnificent self own who you are own your strengths even if your strengths are having a good attitude about the fact that you are sucking at something that is like a huge strength so enjoy those mistakes enjoy hi Kim I sorry hi Margarita I'm saying hi to you again Kim these it's so distracting to see the people coming on but I absolutely love it so thanks for tuning in um, so yeah own your strengths own the little things celebrate yourself feel good as much as you can because why not and how much farther can we get I mean my experience would have been so different if I had a different attitude about not making any baskets it would have been completely different and I think it would have changed my class uh, teammates attitudes about me as well so I guess that's it for now I'd love to hear you share in your comments or in in the comments something that you love about yourself something that you want to celebrate something that you are proud of because it is our attitude that makes a difference it is being able to laugh with ourselves that makes a huge difference so we don't have to take ourselves so seriously we can be serious but we don't have to take ourselves so seriously because it's just a moment in time but our attitude about something is what carries us farther than anything and then hopefully you all have a moment where you felt like a rock star superstar champion winner in your life and I'd love to hear about that too. Hi Gina, hi Laura, I've seen you all come on and it makes me want to keep talking. <laughs> I wish I could hear back from you. But uh, So yes, I made it today and yesterday, had all sorts of wacky things. I had to remind myself of my attitude because it was a little challenging. Had to go to plan B and plan C on some things. But I'm here. I got a smile on my face. I'm happy to be talking to you. And I just hope you all have a beautiful night and a beautiful weekend. And internet willing, I will see you tomorrow.